It doesn't matter if you're this guy or, or that Wilders. woman, it doesn't matter. But to sort of hope that people give a sort of a controversial political answer and then investigate on that, I think that is sort of the, the root cause or sort of cancer of, of the entire political polarization that's in the world right now. It's, it's this left-right divide, it's not going to help anything and it's not going to unite people. And so like, for, I think that we have about a year and a half now to figure out collectively what we need to do about this entire narrative and this entire thing that's going on, especially on universities. Because there are people in America right now that, there was a recent survey in the Atlantic and about 92% uh, out of that survey came that 92% of the population in America is opposed to political correctness. That's a huge number. If the Democrats do not get their shit together, I don't want to Trump to be reelected. I want to have, like, but what's your point, yeah. man? No, what, what my point? Uh, but it's kind of weird. That's that Peterson that. answer, man. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm actually making a documentary about masculinity. So Great. Right. Masculinity. I think there's a crisis. Oh. Wow. Is there a crisis? I think so. Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, probably parenting. I think. What, what is the crisis? Can you describe it to me? Parenting. I think every every conversation I ever have with people where it goes wrong, you, you you zoom in, you zoom in, you zoom in, and it's like, oh, you have a child that needs a good upbringing, and then it gets wrong uh, 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 with the parents. And, and then we and then we sort of we sort of um, hope that the education system will um, uh, sort of catch all those individuals, but the edu education system is flawed, and so but why why is why is Jordan Peterson so popular? I, th men. I think it, he's popular because he uh, he knows how to formulate and articulate what we already know deeply down, but he knows how to address that and uh, and tell us. Um, well, one of his rules is tell the truth, and we all know that that's very important, and very few of us really do that. And that's something we all know, and he knows how to that's explain it. That's for women and men. Of course it is. I think, but that's a little bit biased. Yeah, I think a huge thing as well is uh, the fact that he is sort of a paradigm mo role model, both in the way he physically presents himself and also in the way he debates with people. He uses reason and logic to a very great extent. If you watch his debate or read his arguments, they're often very clearly constructed. Uh, and I think that you know it's easy to follow someone like that and it's easy to kind of want to strive towards that and in, in, in an age where a lot of role models perhaps don't resonate with <coughs> people, it kind of comes a good alternative. I can understand that, but I've been speaking to quite a few young uh, uh, men here and everyone says like he gives us a sense of meaning and identity. So I wonder why why is it specifically men that feel at um, at loss in, 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 this, in this case? Well, I think there's a huge uh, reporting bias with men. We don't really know how to express our problems, at least in general in society. And so there is a person speaking to us, allowing us to voice our opinion, but he's doing the job for us in a way. And by us supporting him, we show that we are voicing that same opinion. A lot of men are shy to actually show that they are depressed, are suffering from anxiety. So this man is actually helping us a great deal. But not only for depression, for things in society in general. The things we talked about today, everything. But why, why, so why, why do you think it's more difficult for men to voice this than for women? Because there's an expectation, and I'm sorry to say this, but there's an expectation for men to be almost strong and to be up there and, and to be withholding that information, to be, to be withholding those sensitivities and weaknesses. In the eyes of society, and sadly this is this way, we need to be strong. 
unfortunately. But he, he's not really, he's, he's actually confirming that. He's saying that masculinity is about being strong and holding your scraps up. And no, he's not. No, he's not. He's not. He's not, he's not. He's not. He's he's not. not. He's not doing yeah. that together. He's not could doing you, that. Could you explain? How can you, you that? how did you, yeah, exactly, how do you get to that conclusion? Yeah. Where is the source? Because, because he's, 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 he's referring to uh, traditional masculinity. No. Because co no, it's not, it's not that. He's, he's coherently expressing some deep psychological problems men may be have. And women, we are better at articulating things because we talk to each other, we gossip, we tell stuff. Men go hunting and they do something different. They don't really talk to each other. These are like basic human like how men are and how women are it's not like oh do, man do you guys do you right. guys go hunting well, no, right, but oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. But you actually. No. It's not a valid argument. It's not a valid argument. It's so biased. Why, that's stupid. It's stupid. No, it's actually it stupid. Is. Come on. Yeah, you, you just said men go hunting. So I in the know. past, in history, yeah, exactly. like evolution, exactly. thousand years of spam, like before trees existed. You know, like we're not thinking about the individual, right. like, like right now, like one single person, but more like so, the so, whole evolution. So here's the thing. There's like the the. The, the, the yeah, they're just trying yeah, to pick what they want. Picking, and choosing what they want. The they're just... Also that as a man to no, I'm just being... Damage. You're well, picking well, what you want. You're cherry picking. No, because you're picking you're cherry talking picking. about biological differences and she's talking about hunting. No, so she, talked about, she talked about that women tell more to each other than men do. That was her point. And then she said something about hunting. Yeah. And you picked that point. But that's to destroy my argument. Evolution. To destroy my argument. That's, 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 that's what we that's what we taught. That's what Jordan Peterson does as well. He says, "Be clear with what you say." So I'm just trying to be clear. Yeah, well, we're not. You're, you're, you're not being clear. clear. You're just being misinformed. You're using the information and making the story that you want to say. No, I'm you're making. You're being biased, biased. No, and that's I'm you're asking. not telling the truth. We, I'm asking. You're not telling the truth. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not telling any truth. I'm asking. That's no, you made a statement, no, you said. You made a statement. Said, are you guys hunting? That's what I said. Okay. Um, it was a question. You got to. Yeah, but, but, but what, what, what is your expectation of finding? Uh, no. With this documentary, Wait. what is your expectation Sorry. of finding? I'm researching now? masculinity. Okay. Okay, and but you I'm, seem to have an expectation, right? What, what Do you think men are better than women? Do you think men are better than women? Sorry. But guys, this okay. was this was I think exactly what we did in Pond Pond exactly. Studio. We just wanted a signature. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to say hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For some reason, yeah, yeah. this happens. Yeah. I don't and know why. Invasive. This was not my expectation. No. I just wanted the signature. Very <laughs> simple. I didn't want to Maybe talk about um, <laughs> hunting, men differences of women, so uh, masculinity. I'm sorry. Toxic just masculinity. just want to know how he's doing. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe we have to say no to the interview. Yes. No, I mean, oh, she's like, gonna make a documentary. We still so, so may I ask, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is your, you're investigating masculinity? What do you yeah? want to show the public with your documentary? But, but then, uh, sorry, sorry, but yeah. let, let her speak. Let her speak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so. You're all picking at me. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, right. So, so you, you say you're making an, you're trying to find out what masculinity is, right? Yes. And 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 how are you planning to do that by asking a bunch of, of people, people like what they think is masculinity? No, I'm actually, what he said, I don't know your name, sorry. Um, I'm quite, I, I know the same data as what you were referring to. So I'm looking at this idea of masculinity in crisis as a woman. So I'm, I'm researching it and I'm a feminist, so I'm looking at it. Um, don't be, don't be, don't be I think, don't look, I think, I think whether it's, it's masculinity or just, I think a better word is a sense of purpose. And for a long time, uh, a sense of purpose for many men has been tied with masculinity, whether it was workers' jobs or or certain types of behavior, uh, which was connected with. I have, no, no, I'm very upset now. You know why I'm upset? I have a, no because I'm upset and I'm Venezuelan and I'm, I no no sorry I cannot be rational at this moment because I have I, I, it's okay. I don't care if it benefits my I'm not a case I'm not for Jordan Peterson I'm from Alien Almao I'm my own individual and I'm gonna speak my truth. Right? Yeah. Uh, I have I have a, 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 a journalist in jail. He's 84 years old for trying to portray the truth of what's happening in Venezuela. Okay, but I don't understand what that has to do with you, with me saying I'm a because, feminist. Because, because no, I'm, you, I'm angry because. Huh? 
I understand. 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 I know you guys want to look like all calm and collected. I am not, and that's okay. I can. I own my emotion. I'm. I'm upset because you are using these people for your interest. You are. You are. You are misguiding them. And 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 I'm sorry. Yes, I got upset when you said you were a feminist because I had hoped that you were a person of truth. And I'm sorry. I don't know you that well, and I'm very upset. So I'm, and when I'm emotionally, I can't uh, structure my thoughts correctly. So I better keep my mouth shut. My emotions are all over. But feminism is a very, very broad term. Like, yeah. like oh, I recently it read in, in the Guardian, the which, well, which, for instance, in. Um, can I finish my, my point? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay, sure. can I just say, Kevin, because you guys are asking what I'm researching. Yes. So, okay, I'll Please. tell you, like, because I am then we really can, not like, trying to, like... No, 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 we understand. Look, look, don't worry. But then we can maybe speak okay. something useful. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, what I find interesting is that if you look at masculinity and if you look at men, it's true that men suffer from depression, from uh, the more men commit suicide. Uh, men, men seem to be doing uh, uh, not so well. So in my uh, um, thinking, that's exactly what you were saying, that men don't learn how to express their emotions. And, and um, so this is this paper we refer to when we talk about toxic masculinity. What I find interesting is that you, you bring exactly this point up but in my in my impression of Jordan Peterson he is actually uh, uh, referring back to this traditional idea of masculinity whereby you are closed and you don't show your vulnerable right. side but maybe I'm wrong I don't know may, may, what wait. do you think of him crying on stage today that's I don't think that's 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 super macho. I mean, look at me. I'm in a skirt. I love Jordan Peterson. Yeah. <laughs> and I am a very feminine guy. Also, I'm very leftist. So, you, you, like, if we have to mention politics all the time in today's world, um, what about that? What about him crying? Did, did that look empathetic, or, or was that all fake? I believe he's a very warm dude. But, you know. Okay, okay, if I say honestly what I think about him crying, yeah, yeah, there's two, two sides to it. Okay. I think it's good that he's showing his vulnerable side, so I applaud him for that. I think it's a bit melodramatic that he cries because he means so much to young men. I mean, it's a bit what? weird to cry about your no, own wait importance. No, a second. I don't think that no? it's... No, no, or am I, I being think, cynical? I don't think that it's about that he means so much to young men. I think there's more like a person behind it. I think there was a, a private person that he's going out there. I think all the fuzz is stressing him out too. Um, I don't know if he wanted to get involved in all of this or if he made like the calculations to be in this position right now. But I think that is more about why he chose, like from the start, he chose the point of being like a clinical psychologist in helping people with mental disorders. So I think that people that are listening to him and that maybe suffer from that point that they can't express themselves and they hear someone talking to them and they don't even have to go and express themselves to have someone understand them. That they maybe from their side come and thank him that he feels as a person, as a private person who has this uh, hope of maybe helping some individuals that this is really touching and this is a genuine response and I don't think that this was a planned or controlled no, no, response. So. Also regarding your previous uh, concerns about Jordan uh, wanting or talking about advocating for men to revert to some old version of masculinity, I don't think that is what he's uh, essentially saying. I think one of his key focuses is about owning up and as I was mentioning earlier, um, for men for a long time, finding an identity and finding a purpose and owning up to themselves was very much tied to to things, to traits that were considered masculine, so being a provider to the family or, or working manual labor. But now in this new era where a lot of manual labor has been replaced with automation and where family provision uh, or that bread basket role has been much more distributed, men in, in by large, are finding it very difficult to forge a new identity and there's constantly a talk about you know encouraging women and which is very good don't get me wrong but at the same time 
uh, now that this old niche that men used to inhabit it has collapsed to a, to a great extent, for better or for worse, something new must be rebuilt and something new must uh, give men a pur sense of purpose. And uh, I think that's what that's what's very appealing with Peterson because he gives alternatives. For instance, in his book, he discovers you know he, he discusses this notion of standing with your back straight, with your arms back. And what he's talking about that in that chapter is that you have to accept your own shortcomings and then work on it. You can't just be resentful of society. Uh, and as a man, that is kind of sage advice. You know, it, the right path is not to hate on women for your shortcomings or hate on society, but realizes that t realizing that time has changed and that it's time to move on and forge a new identity which gives you purpose. I, I agree with that. Okay, yes. But then, again, I think that's for everyone. That's not just for men. Women need to find their purpose, uh, need to stand up straight. And yeah, of course, kind of like but, but women are encouraged, encouraged to a much greater extent to do that. And we're constantly talking about in workplaces and things. And I do, like, don't twist my words here. Like I understand that there are very bad men, and there are many societies and places where, where men have take uh, have this sort of dominant role. But for a lot of men who feel lost, they feel that women are constantly getting encouraged, uh, and that they and they're getting attributed this role as someone that has their everything together when in fact they don't. And this assumption leads to leads to confusion and and this feeling of resentment. And I think it's important to acknowledge that a lot of men actually feel lost and need some encouragement as well. And Peterson ta talks about that. So yeah. Do, do you mind if I uh, say? Yeah. Thank you for that speech. <laughs> I, I'd like to add that the rules in his book are not just mainly for men, but also for women. So the rules stand up straight with your shoulders back, to tell the truth. It's not just for men. It's for, for all people. And okay, but what I what, what what I find so difficult as a woman is when he talks about so-called biological differences. Why do you find it difficult as no, no, a no, woman? Let, 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 let me ask you a question. Okay, I can I can I can. I, yeah, sorry to interrupt yeah. you. Like, it, like I don't understand. Okay. Question. I don't understand okay. why you have to find it difficult as a woman. Maybe you just find it difficult as a person. Thank you for your time, Mr. Thank Peterson. You <laughs> Sign some books, please. <laughs> I just want a hug. I just want to hug and tell you these things all the time. I think we are in heaven in the Netherlands. This is heaven. And Peter, Jordan Peterson is like St. Peter at the doors of heaven. And he gets to say who comes in and who doesn't. Because you tell the truth or you don't. Right, but could, could you repeat your question, please? Okay, no, I was saying, yeah. What? Could you maybe also say for what program you're making? Okay, sure. 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 Um, okay, so what I find difficult, as I was saying, as a woman, and it is as a woman, <laughs> that whenever in history of mankind, womankind, <laughs> differences have been uh, emphasized, it's always been in the disadvantage of women. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Okay. Times are changing. We must look to the future as well. Yeah, but Peterson keeps referring to these so-called differences that he says are, um, like, to deny them, he says, is preposterous. And that makes me feel imprisoned in this role that I should be like as a woman, which I don't feel like I am such. That's what he says is preposterous, that you shouldn't conform to something just because it's woman-like or something is man-like. However, no, he, he, says, he, says he says that there are some biological differences and there are some differences in tendencies between men and women, which is, as has stated, an unrefutable fact. However, that it's doesn't... not, though. I know a lot of other scientific data that doesn't say it's fact. 
So I think it's also like which scientist that you referred to, and he is like stating it as if it is the absolute truth. But I mean, I've talked to many other. Well, he's a speaker, and he voices his research and and yeah. his opinions based on facts that that he feels are overwhelming. And if you find someone that can refute that, that's fine. But over in the end, you have to weigh one argument against the other and just conclude which one is most reasonable and logical. Mm -hmm. And Peter no, said, you were asking, a very good right, why are prisons all filled with men? Uh, no, but can I just finish this point? Because he right. was asking why, as a woman, I feel like that. Okay. Yes. So, like traditionally, okay, they say women are more caring and men are more out there. Uh, Based on science, that's very important. Based on the research, yes, that's important okay. to emphasize. But go ahead, continue. So, as a woman, I feel confined to this role that's assigned to me, right. and history has shown that it has been oh, used to suppress women. Right. But he talks about that too, if you listen, and he did say that. Oh. oh. Wait, Mr. Peters, good. Can I give you a book? Thank you. Oh, you're so lucky. Which book did you give me? But why do you? Okay, sorry. Why do you feel that way? Why do I feel that way? Yeah, why do you feel that way? But uh, I think that the difference between men and women are, are well documented. And so a question I have for you actually, actually is, why are prisons all filled with men? No, but you were saying, first you were saying, why do I feel like that? Because yeah. you saying it's well documented. Right. Huh? I dispute that. I think there is like, I, for example, I went into a brain scan and talked with a neuroscientist that says there is no way of telling whether your brain is female or male. This whole idea of uh, male and female brains, thats it's like pseudoscience well, that gets popular, popularized. Then I don't know much about the brain stuff, but that is one level of analysis. That's one measurement. Yeah. Why, if there are no differences in the brain of the men, men and women, would you then argue that uh, uh, like prisons are overwhelmingly uh, filled with men because there's something wrong in our society that pushes them towards a say uh, a, a bad mode of being uh, uh, trespassing the law and then end up in uh, ending I don't, up in prison? I, yeah i i don't think men are inherently more criminal than women so i think it's a societal well, problem but this is the thing he talked about during during the thing uh during during the the, the speech i don't know what it, what it's called but you have like two um Things right, two distributions of Burritos. men and and, and, and yeah, no, 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 it's the other ones. There are like two overlapping. The normal distribution. Right, the the, the, the general out of the general population, and there's right, a lot yeah. of overlap. This means that whatever thing you 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 pick in whatever thing, like whether it's aggression or or uh, 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 physical strength or whatever, um, men and women by and large are very much the same. Yeah. But when you go to the extremes. Yeah. Most of the things are overwhelmingly represented by men. So it doesn't matter if it's aggression or uh, 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 what have you. Men spike up. So that's... Yeah. May I ask you a question? Yeah, I see what you're saying, but anyway, it's a lot of... It's a... Uh, uh, yeah. It's very deep. And you also talk about how you feel that this kind Sorry? of information... Sorry, yeah, yeah, you start. Oh, okay. So you said that you feel like constrained as a woman, that you are pushed into a certain role or held there. But on the same side, you discovered that there's no biological evidence for a male or a female brain. So what are you feeling is holding you back from, as an individual, portraying yourself as the thing that you believe you are? Uh, societal ideas of what of what I should be as a woman. Okay, so you feel that is holding you back, that even if you would try to be yourself, that you were not given the opportunity to become that what you're striving for? Yes, a lot of times, uh, for example, I give lectures on my work and, and the content of my work. I feel that men don't take me seriously. Okay. So that's like a recurring pattern. Yes, yeah, I could see. You. No, I could. I could see that. I could believe that. Yeah. Yes. So that's something that's holding me back. Okay. I feel that men talk over me. That they're like wanting to explain stuff to okay. me that okay. I know more about than they, but they feel they should explain it to 
them. Like that's a pattern. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that men often have treated me uh, in a sexist way, like specifically when I was younger, sexually. Okay. So these are patterns that I feel, as a woman, suppress me. Okay. And they, and, and, and they have, okay. they have to do with. A lot of times they are founded by this idea of these differences by, by men and women. That's how people uh, like explain it. Okay, so then we would perceive this differences or that what causes it as being sociocultural, right? Mm -hmm. or, so then we could start a con um, conversation here to figure out what went wrong or what is the cause for that. Mm -hmm. Then we wouldn't have like this broad discussion. We could just cut it down because everything we've talked about mainly is like not directly related to what we are talking about right now so that's like upbringing what do we have expectations what uh, some guys said fire with the upbringing of children mm -hmm. how we raise them and I think that makes a huge difference just as he said and then we can have a conversation about this and not about what is masculinity today or what we perceive it because then we are more specific in how we should treat each other, um, what we should expect of each other, that we are the same. So then we could come to a consensus, I believe. Do you, okay. and do you think it's masculine to for men? Is, do you think it's masculine behavior for men to treat women with disrespect? Um, not inherently masculine, but I think it's a part of a social construct, construct which is seen as masculinity. But I, I don't really understand your reply here, because my question to you is, yeah. do you think that being demeaning towards women, for instance a professional like yourself, uh, both in professional and private contexts, do you think that is inherently and intrinsically a uh, masculine trait? Yeah, yeah, not intrinsically. Okay, but then, okay, so it's not a masculine trait. What are masculine traits? I think... Basically, I wouldn't know. Like inherent traits? No, what is a masculine trait? I don't know. So then, why, why, why are you? So okay, so then, why do you think that men are like this towards women? Because they've had a sexist upbringing. Yeah, but, but yeah? they had a. I, I see that. But so because parents have different uh, expectations, or like maybe they don't even notice, but because of the culture around them, they feel like how they should treat children. And mainly, I can speak for myself. I grew up with one uh, sister who was older than me and so i don't feel in a way that i'm maybe or like because my parents maybe paid attention to that i don't know because they studied education and psychology so maybe that makes a difference maybe we can raise children to be different to be respectful to treat people as the same so i can see the point where you're coming from yeah but it's also it's developmentally that proven that children so boys and girls as infants are treated differently by their parents. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Exactly. Yeah, that's what yeah, I said. But then, I gotta but then it's a societal issue. But that's what we're talking exactly. about. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, gotta, that's what I gotta ask you then, because because you, you say that you feel that men have, have treated you disrespectfully, and then you also say that it's not an intrinsically masculine trait, but it's a problem with parenting, right? But at the same time, you a societal problem. A societal problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but isn't the whole concept of masculine and femininity a societal concept? And then you also talk about Jordan Peterson wanting men to go back to a more like old masculine behavior. But why would that necessarily be bad if you yourself don't believe that that is connected with uh, violence or negligence towards women? Well, the 50s weren't exactly great for women. No, okay. I'm not saying that. But what does that have to do with masculinity? It's a, it's a thing. Can, can I ask another no, question? Okay. I'm going to have to stop filming because oh. my poor uh, in, okay. interns, but, they have to write all this out. Yeah, but maybe this really was just important, what I was about to say. Oh. So, <laughs> no, I want to hear yeah. As a journalist, you don't want to miss for information. I would say. <laughs> Make those guys work overtime. Have a better documentation. Uh,
Yeah, I'm Dutch. You are Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why would that matter? No, no, no. I'm just curious if you are Dutch. Yeah. Can I weigh in on what yeah. he was saying? Because you were asking why more men are in prison. And what he was trying to say, you have like two uh, normal uh, distributions and one with Sigma 1. No, I understand what he said. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I understood it also when you were the Jewish club the best name is. The, no, no, I, 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 uh, there is a the, the bigger yeah, task yeah. to sustain the tension. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, no. 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 What, <laughs> what I wanted to ask is this going to It isn't going to happen. Okay, it's not happening anymore. I don't understand yeah. that. I've been accused of that myself. But just when you say that there's something sort of rooted in biology, doesn't mean that we are that we can do something about biology. But okay, there are biological reasons. I, 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 I don't understand. I don't understand. So, right. So, and so this is a point of, of what's sort of wrong with the universe. I've, I had a cultural diversity class. And there was this woman, and she started, uh, uh, was, the, was the tutor, and she started talking about sort of uh, uh, gender stuff. And she said that it was all socially constructed. She was wearing red, red lipstick. And I put up my hand. I said, do you think that all things that are happening in terms of how, how we dress ourselves up is socially constructed? And she said, yes. I said, well, how about your red lipstick? Does, does that have a biological root? I'm not saying that people should wear lipstick, shouldn't wear lipstick, uh, uh, that women uh, 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 should shave their legs or not. But what happens during intercourse when people get excited, more blood flows to, to, to the lips. And so this is a sort of you have the biological layer. That lips get more red during during yeah. during. I see where you're coming from, but the problem is that I find, like I was thinking about this a lot, that whenever these differences are emphasized, it hasn't turned out well for women in the past. That's what I was trying to explain. It's been used as a way to say, like to constrict women, <laughs> and and, um, and this is why. <laughs> Wait, what you find mostly the people objecting to it and the scientists working to uh, to redress the balance are people are women because they're saying hey there's all this talk about how fundamentally different we are but I'm actually you know I'm as good a scientist as any and I'm going to prove that it's there's, there's a lot of cultural bias in these sciences that have been trying to prove the differences you get what I'm saying yes. it's like when when Peterson says he's not political I don't buy that I think like scientists are political yeah. because yes. there yeah, are there's an ideology because they're, they're affected but I think we have to go back to the car because they're um, okay. yeah but what I just wanted to know is yeah. that the behavior that you oh, experience from the men is it more like men in general like every, like every position or mainly men that have power men. that are like looking down on women i think it's mostly white men in power so, over middle yeah, age no he's, then he's then saying what kind of he's saying what kind of because then it's not about masculinity it's about yeah. masculinity yeah. in a social context with power so that's yeah. a whole different story no she's but talking. he's asking i'm not making grand statements no, I'm about trying white to, I'm, I'm trying to yeah. understand so yeah. Yeah. Then also because it's here the only one that was arguably objectively sort of disrupted to yeah. was not male yeah. not white no so i'm not saying it's a rule of thumb you you guys are really respectful to ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not saying all men are scum. I would never say that. I mean, but there's a difference between analyzing the masculinity and individual men. Do you get me? But once yes. again, you say I analyze masculinity, but you say that masculinity and rude behavior towards women are not intrinsic. So no, because, know. yeah. Okay, so then there's this thing called toxic masculinity, and then if you're talking about masculinity. But what is masculinity? I asked you this question. Yeah. And you I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know. So then, how, if you don't know what that is, then what is toxic masculinity? Then? Toxic masculinity is a term used to describe that the societal expectations of men in its caricature. Mm -hmm. So like what, cutting down trees and drinking beer? No, more like being hard and tough and no emotions yeah. and uh, being aggressive. That's like a caricature of men, isn't it? So when it becomes a caricature, that's that's the toxic. Yeah. Right, so, so here's the thing. Stereotypes are bad. I agree with that. Yeah. But they are based on something. 
And when I say that, like most of the times you have people like popping up their eyes, what did you just say? Stereotypes do exist. Yeah, but they um, exist because they influence the upbringing of the children. So yeah, well, they well, become reality. Well, well, that's, that's, the, well, they, that's the whole they are, idea of neuroplasticity in the brain, that uh, the brains are, uh, are changeable. So the more yeah. expectations you put in, the more the brains... And what uh, Peterson uh, said was that in countries like Sweden, there was a difference, for instance. No, but that research, I have to look into that, because he keeps... Uh, I'm mentioning it, and uh, to be I can't comment. Well, I come from Sweden. Yeah. They're replicated to multiple, multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> That's also well documented. Yeah. I noticed that. No, no, I'm not. I'm just saying I want to yeah, look into sure. it, so I don't want to debate it until I've looked into it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. But the biological difference between men and women is are very obvious. Like men have, have like 50 times higher testosterone, and women have just a lot of testosterone. Yeah, but I've been looking. This We've been this speaking. This has an effect on your brain. Okay, but no, yeah, so but if you want to know. Plasticity. Yeah. If, I, if I would take this for, for 10 okay, minutes, but can, can I would change my behavior. The, the, because we've actually been speaking to testosterone researchers, and there, uh, there, there is, like, so far, I mean, we haven't finished talking to all the uh, researchers, but so far there isn't a defining character that comes out of testosterone. I would like you to finish talking to all the scientists that we can talk. I think this is a yeah, where, no, where, where, question, where, where did you yeah. read this? On, uh, to say where did you read this? No, we, I mean, I can ask for my research. In which, like, we're open to discussion, but it's just plain wrong. Like, there is enough evidence. For this. No, but, no, but now you are kind of like, I'm telling you, we've been no, talking like, to lots of researchers. We're open for discussion, we are. We've been open the entire time. But this is just plain out wrong, and it's been scientifically proven over and over again. If you can come with proof, it's not that way you're allowed to. We're always over for you, 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 Well, you should read the book Testosterone Rest by Cordelia Fine. She has actually done uh, research into all the scientific uh, data that has been accumulated. And I, I mean, when you read her book, she shows that there isn't a conclusive um, effect, one set of effects. Like, for example, I could test all of your testosterone right now. Yeah. I don't know why I could <laughs> pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know. It's, 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 it's a testosterone. Testosterone. Um, my, so if I, if I would, uh, there wouldn't be like, hey, this guy is so manly, so his testosterone is higher. No, but aggressive uh, behavior and sex drive are, uh, are, are derived from also testosterone or No, there is like, if I, I take I, drugs well, and I see no, hallucinations, there is, there is, um, the there is an other, there is an, a causal relationship. But when you are aggressive, your testosterone levels rise. Yes. But it's not that you uh, become aggressive because you have a high yeah. yeah. So it's so the other way around. Right, but it's a negative and about sex drive, right? I've done, I've, 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 uh, there is uh, a research being done that looks at the correlation of sex drive and testosterone, and it, there is there is no predicting uh, causal relationship. So I didn't mention it. Well, there's, well, wait, that's, there's one. That's one factor, but there are several other factors between men and women apart from the production and secretion of testosterone. Yeah. I mean, and and uh, I mean, we can take his point first, but because that is arguing against mine, he, he argues much more for neuroplasticity and and that society. Me personally, I think that of course it plays a big role, but I don't think there are any parents that rear their children to deliberately say harass women. No, you know? but, right, but this is all this is all like they grow up to the yeah, okay. Sorry, we have to go. Thank you. Uh, uh, this documentary will be on uh, the screen. On, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I was, I... are you going to uh, put that online? No, um, no. I probably not. Okay. Uh, the documentary, because I don't really want to talk publicly about the documentary. I'm Certainly not. No, no, uh, I get it. A bit nearer the, the yeah, edge, yeah. But the film is going to be online. Uh, the 15th of April. April. Yeah. And where? Uh, where, where my name where is Sunny Bergman. I think the Dutch people. Who? Sunny? Sunny. Sunny Bergman. Sunny Bergman. Sunny. Bergman. Oh, Sunny. Yeah. It's on television. No, like double, like a sunny day. Sunny day. <laughs> sunny. Yeah. Sunny and Bergman. Bergman. Yeah. Yes. And uh, the 15th of April. 
And we have a working title which is called The Making of Men. Nice. Uh, are we going to be in it? Uh, uh, men? Maybe. <laughs> Why need okay. our consent? And wh where are. Uh, uh, MPO3. Uh, M M P O3. Yeah, but I'm. I'm yeah, it's working. Is that the Dutch national? national uh, so I don't know what that is. It is, right? Yeah? N or the MPO? NPO3. NPO. <laughs> I'm like. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I'm come not, here, hugger. Not a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I've red. just seen one. <laughs> yeah, because like, was kind of toxic at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, toxic? yeah, I've, I've saw. Toxic. Not toxic. No, it's wow. really warm here. Yeah, yeah we're nice guys. A lab. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, we get a fire. Yeah. Is there anyone by the tas? No, it was not toxic, but the thing is, when you said you were a, 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 a feminist, yeah. it really yeah, but like, uh, it's like That was the moment for me where I thought, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, let's get out of here. Sunny, is there one thing you could please do? Just take a critical look at everything that's being said. I'm always being critical. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 then the thing is, the term is very broad. So, so maybe, yeah, if I you think, ask people, I think that like, he define it work. more. Right. <laughs> well, he's like the fair town bar a lot. He saw it in his philosophy class yeah. in school. Right, but here's, a, here's an example. This is a, this is a person. I didn't have a very present father in, in my, my thing. And because when we were little, we just assumed that whatever we experience as kids, that's, that's unanimous for all the kids. Yeah. And so I didn't have a good relationship with my father. And I had a good relationship with my mother. And so my initial conclusion was it's generally just so that kids gravitate more towards their mothers. Yeah. And right. knowing from a very young age I wanted children, I felt shit about myself. I felt shit about being a boy because I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna produce children and they're not gonna like me because I'm their father. And then they would rather love me if I, if, if I were their mother. And so um, it doesn't matter whether we talk about masculinity or femininity. I think there's a sort of crisis in both of them. And so, so when I when I like I used to consider myself a feminist before I figured out what like feminists on the more radical end were saying. And so there was a paragraph in a recent article that I read, which was very interesting. It was, is motherhood the uh, the the, uh, the, 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 the 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 last thing to be discussed within feminism? Um, Women will be no no believe all the guards are gone. The moment they can have babies. I'm sorry, I'm not going to But maybe next time, maybe it's good. Well, 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 well if, you, if you call yourself a feminist, then, then you might be associated yeah. with that. In the same well, sense. Well, you might call yourself a Democrat. Yeah, I, I, I would generally avoid labels. Yeah, but I do it because I'm a lot of young women come to me and they say, I will interview, so I do it as a kind of argument. Yeah, but then, then you have to define your feminism because then maybe they maybe they like oh, look up feminism feminism because you said and they end up on the wrong that's side. Her problem, no, mine. Right, but because but in her mind it connotates you know what that's a very that's a very extreme example. But a more basic one, say a femi first wave feminist uh, uh, pa uh, Camille Paglia says there are actually biological differences between men and women. You maybe think that that is too extreme the way she put it, but the other end of that. Uh, 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 uh,